let's say I've just conjured an image. Let's take this one. It looks pretty cool. I'm liking the composition. I don't feel like I want to edit anything, but I definitely want to enhance it. I want to bring out the photorealism, the texture. I also want to make it two times larger so I can print it. All I got to do is click enhance. The other way to do it is on hover. You can click enhance there as well. So once we click it, it sends it to the enhance tab right here. For creativity, the default at zero will do an enhancement where there will be creative liberties taken, but they tend to be on the safe side, so they don't hurt your image, but they definitely enhance it. If we want to shoot it a little higher up, we will get more creative changes made, but it still will look like the picture. For this example, let's set it to a creativity of 10. Let's use photorealism, or it's optimized for. We could also use photo hard. Photo hard does the same thing as photorealism, except it is more aggressive, which will give you richer enhancements, but it does run the risk of changing the original, perhaps more than you had wanted. I personally use photo hard all the time, but teach their own. Now, the description of the image is optional. When you send your image inside Arcana to Enhance, it will transfer the prompt that was written over here, and it will transfer over the styles that were selected in creating that image. Other than that, we just click Enhance, and let me show you what we get. All right, so from our original, now, go to this here to here you'll see there's all this texture being added to the skin to the hair the lips now are textured there's light in the eyes everything looks better and the beauty is it still looks like the original image but it is now two times larger Let's take an image that we made with a dolly, and it's a cool image, but it doesn't have the photorealism that I was looking for. So let's put in the basic ingredients. This, I'm gonna shoot up the creativity to a little bit higher, nothing too crazy. And for the style, I think based on this coloring, analog film would do as well. Let's see what we get. Look at that. Now we have retained the integrity of the original image, but we have given it this wonderful photorealism. From the shirt to the hair. Beautiful texture. Now another really cool trick is changing the prompt. The system will automatically detect what this image looks like, so describing the image is optional. But where this really comes into play is if I want to make some more aggressive changes to the image. So let's write freckles. Let's write green eyes. And let's maintain what's already there, which is the pink hair. And it's a woman. Now, what you can see is from the original image, we've not only 2x'd the size and added beautiful photorealistic details, but we've now given her freckles as well. Sometimes, after enhancing, you also will want to use transform. Take this example. We have this anime image. It's a great concept, but it's very blurry, and there is a lot of 
work to be done. So to accelerate the process, what we can do is take our creativity all the way to a 16 so that we can allow the system to be more aggressive in changing and adding to all this blurriness. We put in the basic ingredients, which is Zelda, a wooden study, and plants. And what we will do is make sure that we click optimize for anime since we're dealing with an anime. And as we can see, it's a lot better, but the face will not do. So we click on the send to with the three dots and we send it to transform. We make sure that we select our anime model because we are dealing with an anime image. We will select the brush. I'm gonna make this brush a little smaller and let's fix Zelda's face here. We can stay at the default to 50%. You can go as low as 35%. And all we're gonna write is the change we wanna see. We wanna see Zelda. Now when clicking in paint, the image that was sent over is now quite large because it was enhanced. So as the system tells you here, you cannot exceed 2050 pixels, so please adjust the output size in the advanced tab. Go to the advanced tab, adjust the output size and you can go even higher but 800 by 800 is more than enough just for a face and let's fix that face let's look at our four options and so we went from this to this pretty easy